Hello, my name is Robert Seiser. I'm the director of the Division of Tumor Immunology at uh, Freiburg University Medical Center. And I will talk about today um, the mechanism of action of glucagon-like peptide 2 um, on graft versus host disease um, development and um, therapy. So uh, glucagon-like um, peptide 2 is an endocrine peptide um, that is produced um, by so-called L cells. Um, and we observed that acute graft versus host disease um, reduced interstinal um, GLP-2 levels in mice um, and in patients developing graft versus host disease. We found that treatment with a GLP-2 analog on tetoglutide that has a longer half-life compared to the endogenous GLP-2 reduced de novo acute graft versus host disease and steroid refractory acute GVHD without compromising the graft versus leukemia effects in different mouse models. Mechanistically, we could show that GLP-2 substitution promoted the regeneration of uh, punnet cells. Punnet cells are cells that produce um, antimicrobial peptides and directly influence the uh, microbiome composition in the intestinal tract. We also found that um, GLP-2 um, promotes the regeneration of intestinal stem cells, ISCs. ISCs are important um, because they lead to the regeneration and healing of the damaged intestinal tract um, during graft versus host disease. So we clearly could show that um, GLP-2 had a regenerative effects and effects on the microbiome um, composition by inducing more antimicrobial peptides through increased punnet cell numbers. Mechanistically, we could also show that GLP-2 expanded intestinal organoids and reduced the expression of apoptosis-related um, genes in those intestinal cells. Um, in a collaboration with Francis Ayuk from Hamburg, uh, we could show that low numbers of L cells in intestinal biopsies and high serum levels of GLP-2 were associated with a higher incidence of non-relapse mortality in patients undergoing allergenic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Our findings indicate um, that L cells are a target of graft versus host disease and that GLP-2 based treatment of acute graft versus host disease it, uh, can restore intestinal homo homeostasis by an increase of intestinal stem cells, as I, had, as I told you before, those cells are important for the re regeneration and um, punnet cells, uh, which impact um, the microbiome and are a first line of defense by producing antimicrobial peptides. Always when you modify the immune system or um, the host that um, has a malignancy, it is important to understand if this modification also impacts the graph versus leukemia activity. We did that using different mouse models for GBL. We found that in none of them, GLP-2 had an impact on the anti-leukemic immune response. So based on that, we believe that tetoglutide could become a novel um, regenerative approach and a combination partner for immunosuppressive GVHD therapy that should be um, tested in future clinical trials. Thank you for your attention.